This is an example application as we look at how to use sync for secure FTP. So this application has a table in it right here, SFTP contacts, and if I click on it, you'll see that there's some contact information. This is being populated from a drive um, on an FTP site. And, uh, and if I go back to the main home page, I've set up an FTP site here uh, with username and password uh, under port 22, and I've used FileZilla as an FTP client to be able to post files there, but your process may vary. But I wanted to show you, um, uh, first of all, I'm gonna get rid of the, uh, the data in that particular table, delete data. I come down here, be careful, there's delete application, you don't wanna do that one. But So I'm gonna wipe this data out. And I've got it set so uh, it manually will update the information. So look in here, there's nothing in there right now. Uh, in real life, this would probably be set to update every day or update every hour. So let's refresh the data. What it's doing is it's contacting the FTP uh, server that holds my files and it is pulling the information from a particular directory. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it's like to see this with FileZilla here in just a second. As that's refreshing in the background, I might as well pull up FileZilla um, here in the background as, as well. So this is a, uh, a free uh, client that you can use and, and get um, f uh, that allows me to um, set up the configurations for that FTP and establish connection, there we go. It's going through and it's going to um, uh, bring me over to the root and there's the directory underneath the root which is QuickBase Sync and inside there I've got one called Contacts and inside Contacts is the example contact CSV file there. So all I have to do is really put another file in that subdirectory and QuickBase will automatically iterate through and pull the oldest ones forward through to the, to the most current. And every time you add another file in there, it will take this data and update that um, over in your QuickBase. So let's go back over to QuickBase and, uh, and look, there it is, it's refreshed, amazing. So, uh, um, and refreshing this is manually done um, here. But if you wanted to look at the configurations, you can click on settings and on the left side, click into secure FTP connections and you can edit, find the fields you want and, and filter just like any other type of sync table. So um, I found the use of FileZilla handy when I was dragging data into this uh, this directory here and automatically the records show up here so you can use them with other tables in your application.